Welcome to another special extended weekend episode as we come to the end of an era. I hope you enjoy, guys. like an episode of As Good As It Gets. <laughs> And that, my friends, is how we end a perfect day like today on Sophisticated Lady. Homemade sushi. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it, but does it get any better than that? But that's what I want to tell you guys. You know what? We've all got a lot of time on our hands now. I know you're locked in your houses too. We got a lot of times to reinvent ourselves, become creative, do something new, do something different, try something different. So use the time wisely. <laughs> Ahoy everyone and welcome back to San Andres, Colombia, our favorite home away from home while under quarantine. Yes, this is one of my real-time captain's updates for Sunday, May 10th, 2020. Now I know you guys are all fascinated with the whole Trimoran story and the history of what happened there. And while I can tell you, I have been doing some more research, so I'll have an update again for you soon, including an interview with one of the original designers of Angel B. I've also had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with the owner that abandoned her at sea, but more on that later. Today, I just wanted to say hi and lighten things up a little bit. Cause hey, life on a sailboat under quarantine in Colombia can be a little bit interesting sometimes. So, welcome aboard. And of course, most mornings on Sophisticated Lady, you'll typically find Maddie and at least one friend or neighbor up on the bow doing their morning yoga before it gets too hot. Of course, since they started doing this, we have a lot more local fishing boats going very slowly across the bow. Funny how that happens. How was the workout? Oh, I'll make some gym yoga 
Yeah, is it good? Is it yeah, it's so hot. I think so we burn more calorie <laughs> than they make this in the afternoon in um, the sunset time. Did I mention how lucky we are to be anchored here in beautifully clear water where we can actually swim off the back of the boat anytime we want, but still, sometimes we can't resist the urge to take off in the dinghy and go out for a swim on this beautiful reef we call our backyard. Sorry? This is cotton key. Cotton key. Okay. This guy lives here. Mario lives here. And this is how many times you've been on this island? Two times. This is my only his second time. This is our backyard. <laughs> I can't believe he's only been here twice. Wow, in four years. Four years. Wow. Oh well, it's just a little stopover. It's nice. It's a nice place to just get on land for us because oh, yeah. otherwise we got no place to get off the boat. But this is a nice place just to hang out and have a beer. And watch the sun go down. <laughs> Sit on a beach. Now this is where I'm at a loss, because the laws changed significantly on June 1st, and we have watched local boats go to that island every single day, and the Coast Guard go whizzing on past and not bother anybody. We go there, and they tell us if we do it again, they're going to take our dinghy. No sooner did Maddie and I get dropped on shore than one of the marine attendants immediately asked us which one of the boats we were on. We told him the one with the decimated Canadian flag, but he said no, it was the one in the middle, the one with the two masts. I saw it get struck by lightning this morning. For sure, that would explain the flash that made me jump out of bed. So when I got back to the boat, I immediately started to review our security camera footage from early that morning around the time of the flash. It took a while to go through all the footage frame by frame, knowing that it would be very short but then we found it and sure enough you can see a bolt of lightning strike the top of Franco's mast didn't see it well, let's watch it again It wasn't till a couple days later that we started to figure out, after testing a few things, that we had a few electronics down also. Around the same time as when this guy appeared on our radar. At first glance, I thought it was a repeat snapshot from last week's forecast. But nope, as you can see, Etta and Theta are still on the screen. They haven't even left the building and a new kid is on the block. Sunday, November 15th, 2020. Hurricane Iota has just become a Category 2 hurricane and heading straight for us. Projected to become a Category 5 hurricane and the second Category 5 in as many weeks to take aim at the small Colombian islands of San Andres and Providencia, causing more damage than any storm in recorded history.
somehow the boat managed to reset its anchor and was well, fully, fully afloat, afloat again. again. It stayed there without trouble for a good couple of hours, but then the storm started to build, and that's when the staysail let loose and started flogging itself to death in the wind, about the same time as the anchor let go again. Next thing you know, the boat was adrift and heading fast for shore. Damn. All he lost was his boarding ladder. And as if that wasn't enough to impress, the boat, all on its own, slid right between all the boats, right into the main dock, directly in front of the San Andres Yacht Club, Club Nautico. The only thing missing was the party and the bar. Come on, Dan! What? Hurry, just hang on to something. We're coming in too fast. Hang on to something. Get away, get off my boy. A perfect parallel parking job with nobody on board and very little damage. Did you see that? That was cool. All right, let's tie her off and kick back some cold ones, huh? Many of you will remember this preview that we showed you last month of the special mission we were invited on by our friend Colonel John. Ever since you've been asking, what happened? Where did you go? What did you see? Well, today is the day you find out. And I will 
6 a.m. And the start of a, what do you say, a bittersweet day, I guess. But it's the last day. As you can see, the sun is just coming up. And we are ready. We're at the dock. We've already made our preparations. We've got our safety line out, just waiting to hook everything up until after we disconnect all of our dock lines. So we'll get the safety line hooked up next after we leave the dock and have all these dock lines disconnected. But we have the boat pretty much ready. Everything is stowed, ready to go. Crew is coming back on board, getting rid of last minute garbage. Maddie's looking after the final bill at the marina. We've stowed most of our stuff in the cockpit, as best as can be. <laughs> yeah, it's just about Panama, here we come. Yes. Yeah. We had a few pesos left over, so we budgeted fairly well. We ran out right at the last minute, but we used the last stuff to buy some extra transmission fluid and spare oil. So Some ice cream. A wise investment of our last few pesos. <laughs> And yeah, I've still got the mini generator out here. We'll put that in the back door here before, as we get out of here, once we leave the dock. We'll have it here as a backup power supply. Why not? I think everything is pretty much good to go. Plants are secure. Uh, we've got some spare wood wedged in here because we still had one big sheet of plywood left over that we haven't used yet. We wanted to take it with us, so we just wedged it in between the new table. Put it in there with all of our life jackets. So you can see we've got all of our four off, uh, like our big offshore life jackets. We got four back there and two up in the forward cabins. Always keep them available and accessible for when we may or may not need them at sea. Hopefully we never need them at sea, but best to have them all handy and not have to go looking for them. We still have our harnesses, our vests that we wear under normal circumstances, but if you have to get out of the boat for any reason, then you want to have a great big flotation vest on, and that's what those are. So the station is pretty much ready to go here. Been testing everything for days. We'll boot up our chart and our radar. Okay, and looks like we're good. Yes. Zoom in a little bit, zoom in a little bit. Those are ready. We've got just over 11 knots just off our port beam right now because we're sitting at the dock, so it's not on our bow. Radio's on, but we need to turn back to 16 now. We're no longer monitoring our friends on sailboats. We're monitoring coastal stations. So that's ready. Yeah, 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 some water that I can use it. Yes. Oh, that looks good. You might need a sip of that. <laughs> one for you, one for me. Just one sip. Is it open? No. It's very cold. Be careful, Captain. <laughs> Thank you. This is, I can use, you know? It's only for yes. the plant. Because, uh, the I already warned the crew about dry. drinking coffee before we go because every time we go and the crew drinks coffee, they always throw the coffee back up in a bucket. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> case in point. <laughs> and case in point, Maddie's yeah. done the same thing. Uh, yeah. I told yeah. him hydration is key, so. Hydration and a piece of bread for. Yeah, very light breakfast on our way out the door because you don't have anything too solid. Uh, Especially like scrambled eggs or fried eggs or <laughs> bacon. <laughs> our body needed to. Take you, have to the, to, you have to be yeah. willing to taste whatever you ate the second time around. Yeah, really. <laughs> and it never tastes as good the second time around. After 70 miles. That's yes. good, thank you. We need. Okay. Mm. Batteries are at 61%. Captain, we won't make a, one picture all together because it's a beautiful sun rise outside. <laughs> okay, well, who's going to take the picture? <laughs> eh, <Alvaro>. Alvaro. <laughs> All right, that's good for checks downstairs. All we need to do is open our mainsail stack and warm up our engine. We'll stow the extra fluid. Here, Maddie, we need to stow the oils. Maddie, 
Yeah. We need to stow the fuels if you put them down there. We gotta check our fluids also in Rick's compartment there. One last check on the engine fluids. And then we are ready. You can see we still have the dinghy down because obviously we are at the dock. So as soon as we pull away from the dock is when we'll bring the dinghy around and put it up and get it secured. And with our cross webbing to strap it in securely. All right. What do you think, Diki? Are you ready to get back to sea? It's been a long time. Hey, it's been a long time. Yes, it has. We've only done some test sails. Now we're going out for a couple of days. Cool, huh? Yeah, it's good, girl. You have your breakfast, huh? Tiki's the only one who gets to eat her breakfast because she never throws it up. <laughs> good girl. And that is how our morning starts. So, this guy booted up. Perfecto. I love it when a plan comes together and I can't wait to get out and test all this new Raymarine gear and uh, just see how it works. It's going to be fun. Figuring it all out, figuring out the options, settings, you know, programming, all that kind of stuff. So we'll have some time to do that while we're at sea. That's it. All right, I got to go do my last checks and then we're going to cut loose. So I'm out of here. So I give more because I use some for the plants. Okay. Ready, set, go. Yeah. How is the transmission? Right okay. Oil is good. It's full. The transmission. All open in here. You opened it already? Yep. Fluid level was good? Yep. It's full. Now I'm doing transmission. Oh, what would you check that's full? Oil? Yeah. Oil is full. Okay. Now we're doing transmission. Mm hmm. Don't thread it in, just test, set it to the surface and then bring it out. Okay. It's down a little bit, right? Yep. Okay, so where is our funnel that we had? About halfway. Let's put it back in the walker. It's in the walker. Okay. We'll need that. We'll put in we'll put in some of our we had one here already. I think you got it right behind you, yeah. So we'll top up the transmission fluid just to be safe. As you can see, we have a puddle of transmission fluid down below. So that's what we need to watch. Do you want to throw some, maybe some paper towels in there? Mm -hmm. We'll soak that up and get rid of it with the last bit of garbage just so we start cleaning that way we can get an idea of how fast it leaks when we're out there. 
So we'll have to keep a check on it for sure. Thank you. What are you looking for? No, the oil funnel. I thought it was in here. Okay, so transmission's topped up. Yep. And we're just going to check and top up coolant. So it just needs a little bit. That'll be that white bottle that's on the floor beside you. Yeah. Okay. Can you put a paper towel around that or something, please? Okay. Let's see, wall transmission fluid and coolant is good to go. Okay, perfect. Thank you, sir. You've got your safety vest out ready to go? Yeah. Oh, you got ours? New safety vest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. We get them out and ready and get them sized so that we know they're set up properly for us. Now, wherever the old ones are, I think the old ones, yeah. um, they're going to have the tether cords. So we still need the tether cord. Okay, safety gear check. And yeah, I think as you guys have already seen, we got the new life raft all mounted up and ready to go. It's there for a quick deployment, so it's all hung on this new bracket we had made, which is perfect. So thank you much, John Para and Sons, building that for us. Four quick release brackets, so it's all on webbing strapping. These two are holding up to take some of the weight off the main bracket, but just snap, 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 and snap. You just pop those four snaps and in the water it goes. Yeah. So that's ready. Okay, I think we are down to moment of truth. Yeah? For sailing, do you want a, a long rope around uh, the bow and come back here? Yeah, we already have it. Oh, yeah. It's there ready to mount. We just gotta wait till we take off the dock lines that are still hooked up to the boat. Yeah. And then we can secure them back here and up at the bow. We'll do that as we're heading out the channel, but it's already on deck. Okay, perfect. All right, engine check. First crank. Always a nice way to start the day. Okay. Bring it up to warm up RPM. We got good oil pressure, good coolant, transmission fluid. Everything is good. All right, muy bien. All good so far. We are just about ready to cut the lines. Okay, we are in reverse. Unload the lines. Oh, Alvaro's got us unattached from that side. Dinghy is clear. Okay. Okay, Alvaro. Gracias. Got it. When you tell me, just Yeah, this one next. Okay, Alvaro, bring. Bring. It's okay, go quick, quick. All right, gracias, gracias. Okay. Okay, we're close. Start, guys. You did a good job, Manny. Don't worry. Wow. And it's clean, almost. <laughs> yeah. It is my boy. Okay, I need to go 
as we clear the channel over. Roger that. Switching back to 1-6. Swiss gate lady clear. sail. Wow. We are officially leaving Colombia. Didn't know when we'd see this day, but here it is. Well, for better, for worse. Panama, here we come. I'd definitely like to say a very heartwarming thank you to Colombia Hospitality. We met a lot of great people, yep. a lot of great friends. Very warm, Alden. We Very hope yes. to, yeah, we'll hope to see you again. We don't know when that might be, but we certainly appreciate and enjoyed the time that we spent here. So to all of you, thank, thank you. you. We salute you. Mm -hmm. We hope to see you again. I do speak a lot of guy because I'm crying this moment. But for now. We just enjoy the moment and carry on for the next adventure because that's what this is, the start of our next great adventure. Here we come. We want quarantine to you again. We want wedding, a lot of nice friends, a lot of memory. Um, it's a, like a, a second home and yes, I think Susan Andres always was in our highland. 
in our hearts, sorry. <laughs> like the first time that we've been, it was something special. We feel something special in this island. Uh, we come back three times, I think, so now we know why. Yeah. But in the other side, we are so happy to start a new adventure after 17 months. And we start to live in our ocean. Yeah. And thank you so much for following us in all this time. I know sometimes we are bored. <laughs> we make you bored. But this is life. This is the coronavirus time. Trying to keep it together. Hey, boy. Every time you say goodbye. Every time you say goodnight. I want to steal you away forever. to hide Oh, we can go across the ocean to see the world tonight Oh, say hello to the mountains and watch the new sunrise But no matter what the country, the city the street By land or by sea Together forever is my favorite place to be Lovely 